And so God went on to say, the reason that I did that is because I have something very special that I want to do for you. I want to write my ten promises on your heart. Now, some, you may have heard of these ten promises with a different name. Some people call them the Ten Commandments. But they're really ten promises. And so God went on and said, when you get settled in your new home, I want you to share with all your neighbors, all the surrounding nations, and share with them what I've done for you, how I've taken care of you. I want you to show them and tell them that I am trustworthy, I'm loyal, and that I love all people. The reason that God did that was that he was trying to prepare the whole world for Jesus to come the first time. The lesson in this story for us today is that God is still looking for people, especially children, that will allow them to write his ten promises on their heart. Because when that happens, these people will become the most joyful, happy, healthy, loving people this world has ever seen. Amen. And that's what God is looking for. Are you going to allow Jesus to write his ten promises on your heart? Because when that happens, then Jesus will be able to come back and take us to heaven. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't know why I write on the heart, because all the heart does is pump blood. <laughs> it's, it's a symbolism for your mind. <laughs> We're going to sing our prayer for closing. Do you know this song, Into My Heart? Everybody sing with us. Into my heart, into my heart. 